seeing the art up close. There's so many layers of paint and texture. And that's something that you just can't see on a social media post. If you go into the Winnipeg Art Gallery with an open mind, I always learn something and I feel grateful for the experience. When I was young, I took classes here and then I became an art teacher. It's for people of all generations. The content that's in here is representing many different communities. This is a space for everybody. So every month we pick out a date from our date jar. We each wrote down six to ten dates for the year and this month it just happened to be the art gallery. I'm on parental leave at the moment. My wife likes to take art classes here and it's a great place to spend an afternoon. We had never been here yet as a family so I wanted to show the kids just to be able to express themselves in a different way and you know they only get so much time in school to do art. Kids are free. Uh, so for families, that's always helpful. And if you have a membership, then you can come as often as you like. Didn't know what to expect. As far as price, it, it was right in par with what I thought it would cost. Just it, everything's been really great here. The second Sunday of every month, our gallery hosts Free Sunday. And so anyone can come into the gallery and experience everything that's going on. Sometimes there'll be tours, guest speakers, crafts that kids can do to kind of be immersed in, in the art. It's one of those places where you put your phone away and fully appreciate what you're looking at. Where you can sit and just be. It's kind of hard to like find somewhere in the city that's actually peaceful and quiet to go and spend your time. Things that have surprised me about the gallery are you don't realize how much content is here to be consumed and so you need to give yourself time to make sure you can come and see everything. My first experience at WAG here was, uh, was a great one. Um, it was something outside of my comfort zone and they have a lot of great pieces here and uh, for me I'm kind of a little bit later on in life kind of coming to appreciate art and we were lucky enough to have some good tour guides so it was a lot of fun. I'm a hoodies and hats guy and I play hockey and fish and I feel like I belong at the WAG. We weren't sure if there was a dress code or not, uh, but there isn't. I asked like five times about my outfit before leaving the house. Side note, this hat is from the sneakiest, smartest gift shop in the history of Winnipeg, which is the WAG gift shop. It's amazing. Lots of different souvenirs. There's local artisans in there represented as well. And don't forget, there is Katita, which is a nice little restaurant kiosk base that has lots of different snacks and refreshments. And there's something for everyone. We do have something absolutely world-class. It was nice to see their reactions to a lot of things and seeing the world through their eyes in, in the form of art is a really cool thing to see. I think it's important to kind of broaden your horizons. WAG's a great place to do that. Even if you're not into art, you can actually learn a lot of new things and spend a nice afternoon. I love the feeling that art gives me and I just love seeing people be engaged with art and being able to share that with them.